Hello guys and welcome back to Treasure Digital. Today we're giving you a full guide on how to solve many cam on Omi TV problem or if you have the problem of denied access to your devices on Omi TV. And if many cam has showed you the problem of prohibited program and restart the chat and other solutions if many cam is no longer working for you. Finish until the video so you can back to your video chatting in no time. Are you getting all? You have denied access to your device's error on OMI TV. Here's the second part of this error. Your partners will not be able to see and hear you. If you are, you won't be able to see yourself on OMI TV as your webcam will not work. As a result, you cannot talk to strangers because OMI TV requires you to turn on your webcam. However, you might not be able to turn on your webcam. In this video, you'll learn why you're getting the you have denied access to your device error on OMI TV and how to fix it. You're getting a you have denied access to your device's error on OMI TV because your webcam microphone is disabled. It can also mean that you've prevented OMI TV from accessing to your webcam or microphone. When you visit OMI TV for the first time, it will ask you for your permission. Use your webcam and microphone. You can either click on Allow to allow OMI TV to access to your devices or click on Deny. If you've clicked on Deny, your webcam will not work because OMI TV does not have access to it. As a result, you won't be able to use the website as your webcam is not available. The error message can also be caused because you've turned camera access off in your camera privacy settings. By doing this, any app or website will have no access to your computer's web. You need to enable camera and microphone access via your privacy settings. After you do that, Go to the OMI TV website and allow camera and microphone access there as well. This is because your webcam or microphone will not be available if you don't turn it on. Hence, you need to make sure that both your computer's webcam and microphone are enabled. Step 1. Enable camera access. Click on the Windows search icon at the bottom navigation bar, search for camera privacy settings and turn on camera access. Make sure to turn on let apps access your camera and let desktop apps access your camera as well. By doing this, you'll be able to allow OMI TV to access your camera. Step 2. Enable microphone access. The second step is to allow OMI TV to access your microphone. Click on the Windows search, look for microphone privacy settings and turn on microphone access. For websites like OMI TV, giving access to your microphone is essential so that you can talk to other people. Step 3. Allow camera and microphone access on OMI TV. The final step is to allow camera and microphone access on the OMI TV website. If you previously turned off camera access and microphone access, you won't be able to do this. Now that you've turned on both these privacy settings, you'll be able to allow OMI TV to access your camera and microphone. 1. Go to the OMI TV website. 2. Click on the look icon next to the URL. 3. Turn on camera. And 4. Turn on microphone. And finally 5. Refresh the page by clicking on the refresh icon or pressing Ctrl plus R. After you've refreshed the page, your webcam and microphone should be enabled. Now you will be able to see yourself on the webcam and start meeting new people. To use OMI TV, you need to allow the website to access your camera and microphone. If you accidentally click deny, you can reset the website's permission. You can do this by clicking on the lock icon followed by site settings. Lastly, click on reset permissions to reset website's permissions. If it still doesn't allow you to enable your camera and microphone, it means that you've probably disabled it via your privacy settings. Hence, you need to enable them before you attempt to use OMI TV. 
But if you're getting the error message, please delete prohibited program and restart the chat. You need to do the following. Go to Windows Sound Settings and disable the Manicam Virtual Microphone as shown in this photo. 2. Install Firefox and try accessing the websites again. Make sure to restart the browser each time you rename the webcam. Even though Manicam Virtual Microphone is not selected as your microphone, this does not prevent you from being banned because the site has access to your list of devices, including all mics and webcams so it does know that you have it. Hence, disabling the Manicam Microphone is mandatory to make this work. And here is what you need to do. 1. Close Firefox and make sure it's not listed on Device Manager. 2. Disable Manicam Microphone on Windows Settings as I suggested above. 3. Rename Manicam Virtual Webcam in Manicam Settings and make sure to save the changes. By pressing Edit when picking the name, go with something like Logitech C615. 4. Restart Manicam and 5. No run Firefox and try again. And this will probably and most likely fix the problem of Manicam is not working on OMI TV. Now, let's move on to some solutions if Manicam is no longer long. If you had a slight idea about virtual cameras on PCs, you would have certainly heard about Manicam. As useful as it may be, you can be prone to few issues on Manicam like you would with any piece of software. But rest assured, we might have some solutions for the problem you're facing with Manicam. The following video will help you fix issues with Manicam now working on your system and what you can do to avoid such problems in the first place. 1. Remove official signature from your video calling software on Mac if you're using it. 2. Install an earlier version of the video conference software. 4. Change integrated webcam settings. 5. Disable asynchronous frame transmission. 6. Adjust video sync offset. 7. Lower the resolution and FPS. 8. Check if many cam and webcam are enabled inside Windows Device Manager. Like any virtual webcams, Manicam creates a virtual copy of your camera so that you can use this copy as your video source inside. Different video calling apps, if you are not able to use Manicam on an app, check if Manicam is enabled on your Windows PC by opening the Windows Device Manager, selecting Image and Devices, right-click on Manicam and click in Enable Device. You can repeat the same for your integrated webcam device to see if it's enabled on your system. 9. Allow Manicam access to camera on macOS or higher. 10. Enable camera access inside Windows Privacy, as I said earlier. Are you facing problems using Manicam on Windows or Mac? If yes, did the solutions mentioned above help you resolve your issue? Because I am pretty sure it will. Let us know in the comments below. And thank you guys for watching, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next video.